Alright, let's look at solving three equations and three unknowns by eliminating variables. So what I want to do is I want to pair this first equation up with the second equation and pair the first equation up with the third equation. So I have the first equation x plus 4y minus z equals 20 and 3x plus 2y plus z equals 8. And then I'm going to pair up the first equation with the third. So I have x plus 4y minus z equals 20. And then the third equation, 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 16. Now I need to eliminate the same variable in each one. And I'm going to eliminate the z's because all I have to do in this one is just add them and the z's will go out. So I add these two. I get 4x plus 6y equals 28. And then over here I need to multiply this one by 2 because that will give me negative 2z plus 2z is 0. So I multiply the first one by 2, so I get 2x plus 8y minus 2z equals 40. And then I'll write the second equa the, this equation here down, 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 16 and I add so I get 4x plus 5y equals and then that's going to be 24 okay. now you can see that I have this equation and this equation so now I have two equations with two unknowns. So I have 4x plus 6y equals 28 and 4x plus 5y equals 24. So now I need to solve these. So I'm going to eliminate one of the variables so I'm going to eliminate the x's, multiply this one times negative 1, so that'll give me 4x plus 6y equals 28, and then multiply this one by negative 1, so that's negative 4x minus 5y equals negative 24, and add them. So the x's go out, and I'm left with y equals 4. Now, I take this, and I plug it into one of these. So I'll just plug it into this one. So I get 4x plus 5y equals 24. And I'm going to plug in the 4. I'm going to plug it in for y. So I get 4x plus 5 times 4 equals 24. So I get 4x plus 20 equals 24. Subtract 20 to both sides. So I get 4x equals 4. Divide both sides by 4. I get x equal 1. So now I have x and I have y. Now I need to solve for z. So I can take the x and y and I can plug it into one of these. I'm going to just plug it into this first one here. So I'm going to plug it into x plus 4y minus z equals 20. So I get 1 plus 4 
times y, which is 4, minus z equals 20. So that's going to give me 1 plus 16 minus z equals 20. So that's 17 minus z equals 20. So negative z equals 3. Divide by negative 1, z equals negative 3. Now when I write my solution, I write it as x, y, z. So my solution is 1, 4, negative 3. And there's my answer. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. So I'm going to pair up the first and second and first and third. So I have x plus y minus z equals 5 and 3x minus 2y plus z equals 8 and then x plus y minus z equals 5 and 2x plus 2y minus 2z equals 7. I need to eliminate one of the variables. I'm going to eliminate the z's because all I have to do is add these. So I get 4x minus y equals 13. And here I need to multiply by negative 2 because that will give me a positive 2z minus 2z is 0. So I get negative 2x minus 2y plus 2z equals negative 10. And then I'll write this equation below it. 2x plus 2y minus 2z equals 7. And then I add the x's go out, the y's go out, and the z's go out. So I'm left with 0 equals negative 3. So we can see here that this is not a true statement. So my answer here is no solution. All right, let's look at another one. Okay, here I'm going to pair up the first and second, first and third. So I get 2x minus 3y minus z equals 4 and negative 6x plus 9y plus 3z equals negative 12 and then pair up the first one and the third one 4x minus 6y minus 2z equals so I want to eliminate one of the variables. So let's just eliminate the x's. So here I need to multiply this by 3. So I get 6x minus 9y minus 3z equals 12. And then write down the other one. and I add them. So I get 0 equals 0. Now here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply by negative 2. Now to get rid of the x's. So I get negative 4x plus 6y plus 2z equals negative 8. And then I'll write down the other equation. And I add them. And you can see I get 0 equals 0. 
So here I have an infinite number of solutions. So the way I'm going to write my answer is I'm going to write it as the set of all x, y, z such that 2x minus 3y minus z equals 4. It's the set of all points that satisfy this equation. And so this is my answer here. Let's take a look at one more. Here we have a variable missing. No, actually we have two. We've got a z and an x missing. But what I want to do is I want to work it kind of like I did, well, with the same concept. I want to get two equations and two unknowns so I can solve. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, uh, let's take this equation and let's solve it for x. So if we solve this for x, we get x equals negative y minus 4. Okay. Then I can take this and I can plug it in for x right here. And by doing that, if I plug this in for x, this is now in terms of y. So I have this equation here in terms of y and z, and this one in terms of y and z. So we have 2 times x, and in the place of x, I'm putting negative y minus 4 plus y plus 3z equals negative 21. So that gives me negative 2y plus 8, I'm sorry, minus 8 plus y plus 3z equals negative 21. So I get negative y plus 3z and I'm going to move the 8 over. So that's going to give me equals negative 13. So now I have this equation and I can use this equation and I've got two equations, two unknowns. So I've got y minus z equals 1 and negative y plus 3z equals negative 13. And I add them. So I get 2z equals negative 12 divided by 2. I get z equals negative 6. So now I can take this and plug it in. I can plug it into this one. Okay? And that will give me y. So I get y minus z equals 1. So y plus 6 equals 1. So y equals negative 5. Now I take this and I plug it into the first one. And that will give me x. So I get x plus y or minus 5 equals negative 4. So x equals 1. And there's my solution. 1, negative 5, and negative 6. And there's my answer. And that's all of solving three equations and three unknowns.